welcome to Sustainable Innovation YouTube channel. Today we are in Kisumu County, Northward. We are meeting this amazing apiculture farmer. This youth is doing a very, very innovative job. He's trying to protect our environment by making sure that he's doing sustainable apiculture farming. Stay tuned and learn more on what is going to happen. And learn more on what you need to do in apiculture. My name is Robert Ruko from Kisumu County, Kisumu Northward. I'm a beekeeper and uh, I love bees so much. Why is it that you, you are sitting there? No bee is stinging you as we are seeing. And now you want to encourage everyone to come closer to bees. What are the secrets that we are using? Mm -hmm. How do you handle bees, the management? What do you need to do to make sure you have a successful colony, successful swarming, successful apiary? Actually, to have a successful apiary, it has to be somewhere away from, from the house or from where the children are playing or from animals. Like, um, if you're keeping cattle or goats, you don't need to put them near the bees because they'll get stung and you'll get lost in the when your livestock dies from bee sting. So, you have to look for a position where the bees will be quiet, no distraction, it's a cool place, then they are able to get the resources well, like for example flowers, like here I'll put them under a forest of eucalyptus. Apart from protecting my trees, they also get pollen from the eucalyptus, they make honey out of it, and other herbs like the pithonia there, they like it so much, the flower, and uh, other surrounding plants also, also give bees and provide them with the nectar. Okay. There's something which you had mentioned sometimes back, which is really, really interesting, and I would really wish to understand more. The process whereby the bees themselves knows even their movement, knowing which size and everything, which hive to get into. Because from here, this is just your new colony. You only have about three or four hives. Why is it these bees from this color, this hive does not go to the other one? How do they differentiate their boxes? Actually, you see like um, the boxes are almost of the same size and the same color. And uh, these are different uh, colonies. And this one is a different colony. They have their queen. And uh, each bee in the colony, they know the pheromone that is being produced by their queen. They know the smell of their, of their colony members. So they'll always know where to get into without being confused. Actually, in each and every bee, bee hive, they are guard bees, and uh, they are very smart enough to know which bee is not from that colony. They'll fight them back because there are some other bees that are just uh, foragers. They come to attack other colonies to take honey from them and pollen. So that's why each and every beehive, there's, uh, there are guard bees at the entrance. So each and every bee knows where to get into. So meaning the guard bees help you, help the hive yeah. in protecting who comes in and who goes out. Yeah. So that you don't have any foreigner coming yeah. into yeah. there. So that is the way they are protecting their colony. Yeah. Okay. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you have learned something. Please, make sure that you share the link with your neighbors. If this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. Leave for us a comment so that you can know where you are watching us from and whatever you have learned.